Hello. I'm happy to see you here. It's Nadia again with you, making live today for my design team, Prima Marketing. Let me show you uh, a paintbrush that we're going to create now. I made it uh, using um, Prima brand new diamond collection and some redesign molds and of course beautiful Prima flowers. Yes, it's the same brush as we made uh, the, the first time when it was my first life. Uh, I have them few uh, of them, absolutely um, the same size. So I decided to make uh, one more brush um, for you uh, when I'm getting uh, bored uh, of making uh, cards, layouts, uh, canvases, I am taking a uh, brush and alter it. Um, so, um, um, here is my brush. Uh, to make the process um, faster, I covered it with white gesso in advance. And also I um, covered some chipboards with um, uh, embossing powder. This is Tampendo's uh, Age Scarlet name of this. And uh, my other chipboard I will um, cover with uh, some paints. I will show you later. So, um, it is already dry because I, I made it uh, 15 minutes ago um, before my life um, has started. And now uh, we need to uh, make mm, mm, the texture of my brush more interesting. And let's start with uh, applying some uh, stem. Um, how to say? Okay. <laughs> um, I am taking this uh, color philosophy. It's permanent um, black ink pad. And this is um, Finabire small stamp, silicone some small stamp. And let's put it somewhere here and there. Not very much, but in few places. I haven't talked, uh, I haven't spoken uh, English um, for a month, so I, I think that I need a little bit time to get used to speak. <laughs> Here it is. And now I want to apply some uh, texture paste uh, using this stencil. It's quite uh, old uh, stencil by Prima Marketing. Uh, I think it was uh, my one of my first stencils that I bought when I started um, making scrapbooking and mixed media. So, uh, I'm choosing this um, paste. It is paper texture paste. And I need a silicone brush. This one, also quite old. Um, and very <laughs> mixed media. It's, it's like mixed media project already. <laughs> um, and just take a little bit uh, on it and apply it some, somewhere. Maybe even on all over the brush. Everyone. Surface of the brush is not very big because it's really a small project. Um, for life, uh, I'm trying to create something small but very nice. Um, to make it fast. Uh, 
so let's see okay we just need uh, a little bit of texture let me find my baby wipes and don't forget to clean your stencils just after using it uh, and we need to dry it very well before we apply some colors and some paints on it I'm from Estonia so hello everyone from Tallinn Uh, when you are uh, when you dry um, brush, be careful with uh, this um, this part because it could melt uh, from the heat. Um, I may show you my first project uh, while I am drying. Uh, my first project using this collection. Uh, I think that. Uh, that this is uh, one of my favorite of mine it is a uh, reverse canvas maybe you will find um, a little bit of inspiration to create uh, your own using this collection <laughs> this is quite big so it's impossible to create uh, this one uh, during live stream because it it takes uh, time I think <laughs> one hour won't be enough maybe two hour two hours or <laughs> or even more yes uh, diamond collection is really beautiful um, I think that it is uh, unique So let's talk a little bit, maybe you have some questions or you just may uh, tell me something interesting. What is on your table at the moment? What project are you creating now, these days? Because drying process is the most, um, how to say, uh, uninteresting. <laughs> and really boring. I hate to dry, but I have to. I have never made a mixed media project, but I am getting ready to start my first one. So excited! Yes, you should try. Definitely should uh, should try. After you try it once, you can't stop. <laughs> I think. Uh. If if you have an old brush, you may use uh, um, the old one. Um, I'm. Uh, usually I buy uh, just from the hardware stores. They are not very expensive. I think this one uh, was about one euro. So uh, it's, it is cheaper than um, to buy canvas, for example, because canvases are um, not very cheap here in Estonia. My favorite size, uh, 10 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Uh, cost about about five euros. So um, it 
it um, it won't make <laughs> me very happy. Yesterday I was uh, in the shop. Ah, the price is here, and I bought one. My favorite one. <laughs> my favorite size. Uh, it is a little bit soft here, but maybe we may try to continue with paints. Um, I choose uh, two liquid acrylic paints as a main is uh, a main um, paints for my project. Uh, the name of this is Tiger Orange and Amber. And I need a little bit of water to make uh, color flow and maybe uh, add a little bit directly on the brush. And let's start from the um, lightest, from the tiger orange. So let's apply just few drops in few different places and maybe more water I really like um, liquid acrylics because um, they you may use them like um, how to say like uh, watercolor if you add a lot of water or even you may uh, put a drop or a few oops, uh, in in a bottle and use it as a spray for example or you may use it as um, how to say without water and if you use it without water or you uh, add not a lot um, of water uh, after drying there uh, with um, how to say um, I forgot the word. I want to say one Estonian word. Um, um, how to say? They have uh, they have glossy finish, and uh, it looks really nice on the project. And now uh, let's add some uh, amber, also a few drops here and there, in different places. And more water amber is nice color uh, it's um, like um, brown and greenish more greenish I think And maybe I I will take one more color. Uh, it is burnt sienna. This is my favorite one. I like to use it for um, like vintage projects. So just add a little bit of. This is like more brown. If amber is greenish, uh, this one is brown. Just a little bit. Have you ever, girls, have you ever tried uh, acrylic paints? This liquid acrylic by Finabayer. Tell me about your experience. Do you like to work with them? So, let's dry them. Um, not them. Let's dry my dry my brush, and um, then we will see if uh, we need to add something, some more color. 
somewhere. Hello girls, thank you for joining. I love burnt sienna too, beautiful shape, yes, well the fluid acrylics. Let me show you closer. And I like uh, when uh, this uh, liquid acrylics uh, flows uh, inside the texture, um, inside uh, the to say, the pattern of texture paste and stencil and. In some places um, it is more thick and in some places it is more thin and uh, it gives really nice result and um, nice mixed medium effect. I have used just three products uh, and the result is really nice uh, the texture is really nice so it's only white gesso paper texture paste and some liquid acrylics but it really looks beautiful already even for those who don't like to put a lot of embellishments a lot of elements on the project really a good solution to use liquid acrylics to make nice texture that we may put it aside and let's um, paint some chipboards uh, with and also my um, mold um, how to say clay shape uh, shapes uh, using molds I will show you them at the moment um, Uh, the first one is, I think the name of this is uh, Birds and Bats. This is uh, from the latest, uh, la yes, latest release from Finnebuyer. And this one, uh, my favorite, uh, the name of this is Monstera. I use this <laughs> Monstera leaves really often uh, for a lot of projects. Uh, I think that it is... Um, versatile because I use uh, I use them for summer projects, for marine projects, for even um, how to say um, mm, the name of this Eth eth ethnic ethnic I don't know how to pronounce it correctly in English. Um, so let's um, color them with amber. As I prepare uh, for my life, uh, this project a uh, few weeks ago, <laughs> I can't remember uh, which colors I use. Uh, so I think it was amber. And maybe to make flow, to let the colors flow easily. I may also put a little bit of water, but I don't want make them uh, translucent, so not not a lot of water, just just a little bit. I want to push uh, like um, pause button um, <laughs> like when I'm uh, making my videos for YouTube uh, just push um, pause <laughs> color all of them and then 
start my video again, but, but it's impossible uh, here at the moment. Uh, I really forgot about them. I think I should color them in advance also, just to save our time. So... But I'm trying to do it fast. And I think uh, after they will dry, you will see this glossy effect because I don't use a lot of water here. And I think it will be visible. And uh, this one? This um, bird school, um, school, school, yes, the name of this school, um, I will um, color, color with, I will paint it with uh, sparks, um, the name of this is chest of gold. Uh, as I'm trying to make my project as fast as it possible. I can't uh, read um, all of your comments, but <laughs> I want to uh, say uh, thank you for your support, for your kind words. Um, they make me happy. I'm trying to read something, <laughs> but... Uh, sparks are really beautiful paints. I love them so much and uh, with water they are also looks very beautiful they do uh, as all of finnabar paints they um, dilute in very well with water so you may make it uh, more transparent using water or make it more how to say thick without water and just look how beautiful. It is and let's see if I think you may see this glossy effect without water. Look how beautiful it is. And now let's paint chipboard pieces. with paints. I also want to use some sparks. Uh, one is uh, unicorn's hair and uh, the second one is dragon eye. Hello, hello Rika, <laughs> happy to see you here. Oops. And just a small tool. It's uh, like sponge. And let me show you. The, mm, I don't know, it's not... F sometimes it hasn't very good focus. But I hope that you may see this um, very, um, how to say, um, small pigments, this shiny, <laughs> my cat's hair is everywhere, so excuse me girls. If you feel that your paints um, are getting dry just put a little bit of water inside um, the jar and it will be nice again and so unicorn's hair is uh, the lightest gold and um, dragon eye is um, darkest. Ah, this one. 
Hello, hello, Chris. Let's try a little bit and then continue. To make my monster leaves more beautiful, more interesting, I want to add some waxes on it. Uh, this is um, from previous releases. Uh, it is in like metal cans, and now they are in tubes. So if you buy them now, you will buy them in very nice tubes. Just a little bit of wax to emphasize all the details. On the leaf. And also I have here uh, white gold. Uh, it is the lightest and more neutral. Um, my favorite one, uh, it is uh, good for um, for our projects, I think. And this one, a uh, vintage gold, is uh, more, more dark, like natural gold. You know, I think that I'm maybe I want to add a little bit. Let me find it. A little bit of um, red box. The name of this is Fire Ruby. Just few touches, maybe. Let me see how how it will be. I think it's nice. Now, I think that we may start uh, gluing. Uh, let's put all my element elements aside or beside me. And just start gluing it. Uh, um. I think <laughs> who uh, watch me um, um, usually or my videos on YouTube uh, knows that uh, I love to cut elements and this project is for those, especially for those who don't like to cut uh, because uh, here I use um, ephemera pack. So here is um, a nice lady, lady. Uh, that you don't need to <laughs> cut out of the paper. And here uh, was also a uh, few flowers, but as I have used them already, uh, I just cut uh, the same from the papers. So you don't need <laughs> to cut uh, nothing. You just need to have an ephemera 
package. Now, uh, let me show you beautiful flowers. I have here um, this vine. Uh, this is from Pumpkin and Spice uh, collection. This is uh, this is was autumn collection, but I think it's uh, really good for my project because here are uh, green and brown and yellow uh, shades on it, so it looks nice, very nice. And here I have uh, one brown uh, color um, flower. Uh, this is from um, uh, how to say? I forgot the name of it. <laughs> um, ah. Help me, girls. This was a collection with um, cactuses. Ah, uh, desert gold. Yes. <laughs> and this flower uh, is from diamond collection. So I have here a little bit of flowers. Here are my monsteras and my leaves. So... I think it's time for gluing and as usual I need some small cardboard pieces to lift up the elements and let's see how it will work. Let's start with leaves, with monster leaves. Some elements uh, won't be visible from the first side, but if you will look um, inside the brush or look from every side of this, you will see how, how, uh, how dimensional this is. So it's like a sandwich using beautiful Prima products. And second monster maybe I need to uh, to put some cardboard um, pieces here Uh, I made my uh, clay element. Um, how to say? It? Yes, clay elements uh, from the clay, so they are really heavy. Uh, and before they glue <laughs> and stick uh, very uh, very well, sometimes I need something to to lift them up. Maybe to put here something. Okay. I think it's it's okay at the moment. Not no, <laughs> not okay. So let me find something that will handle it. Maybe it could be. Yes, another brush here, just to handle a little bit uh, while it sticks to my project. Then. Let's glue this um, chipboard, uh, boho style moon. And maybe a little bit more of glue and also small cardboard pieces to some places. Yes, it's fine. Now, as the vine is longer than my brush I want to cut one part of it 
but here is very nice um, girl that I also decided to save so I I will put them like this do you see the uh, it it will I think that it's the focus is not very good um. better now so let's glue it we may lift uh, up some leaves and some flowers and this one too So I shouldn't forget about my keyboard details. And then I need to put somewhere flowers. So now we're mixing um, all the element, all the elements: chipboard, flowers, um, flowers fl from uh, the papers, to make our project more interesting, more dimensional. Um, then maybe on this side. Somewhere here. Yes, that's better. Now, maybe it is time for our beautiful girl here. And some flowers to lift her up. I want to... Ah, oh, don't fall, please. And this brush again. <laughs> I think that uh, even um, uh, in, the, uh, in the end of um, my live stream, I can't uh, lift it up and show you because uh, this is really heavy monster goes down now maybe some flowers again somewhere and this flower um. and let me put some cartoon pieces there. Uh, let me see what are you writing to me. Um, uh, so many comments. Okay. <laughs> uh, And uh, 
on I forgot about some elements that I would love to let's glue this arrow here under the flower so our last flower beautiful and okay and the school somewhere here and also for few pieces of cardboard Perfect. Now, maybe I may try to show you this one. Why everything is unfocused? And uh let's add some how to say accents using some paints some nice elements like satan crystals uh like these crystals the name of them satan crystals <laughs> um and maybe some beads metal beads glitter so just take a little bit diluted with water um so many comments i want to read everything of them uh, um you have dark uh, so <laughs> Okay, girls, I think that I will read uh, comments after um, my live stream because I know that it is summer now, it's really good, uh, hot and good weather outside and a lot of people want to spend their time somewhere in the garden or just walking somewhere with family and I'm trying to make it uh, really fast. And uh, just touches uh, to the leaves, to this, um, how to say, curly um, elements on this vein or, or vine. Sharon, I also was uh, thinking about your family name and um, I was wondering if you have uh, Finnish roots or your husband, <laughs> uh, because you have Finnish uh, family name, so it's just your husband's family name. Now it's clear. <laughs> and look how beautiful uh, this unicorn, unicorn's hair sparks. Um, why this is unfocused? Oh, okay um looks beautiful when it uh, diluted with water and maybe a little bit on the flowers here and there and just inside and now let's take some um some crystals and put them in few places look how beautiful these green are i think that they are my favorite my fingers are really sticky and dirty 
Um, see, let's glue them here and there. I like to take a um, few different colors and few different uh, shapes and put them beside each other. So here I have biggest green one and smallest uh, pink and gold. And maybe somewhere, somewhere else. Uh, I just need to find the best the uh, the best place but it is always very hard for me <laughs> maybe here and maybe one more one more somewhere here just just hidden treasure <laughs> and now i want to take these glass beads the name of this is uh, Ruby. Thank you, Rika. And um, soft gloss gel. I, I always use, use it uh, to glue uh, all these uh, tiny elements like beads, micro beads, glitter. And I need a brush for this. It's really old and almost and I'm almost running off it so let's put um, soft gloss gel in some places and then uh, we will add some bits and maybe some somewhere under some elements and now it's time to add some uh, red accents in few places and uh, while um, soft gloss gel still uh, sticky, let's add some glitter. I think gold one and maybe even bronze will be very nice. And maybe even green. Okay, let's just sprinkle like salt and, pe and pepper here and there I think that um, each project uh, with glitter looks uh, more uh, more beautiful <laughs> because we are girls we like uh, all those sh oops, all uh, those shiny shiny elements and maybe maybe Maybe, привет. Maybe some some green. Okay, let's see how it will be. Uh, so I think that we we finish this. Um, I'm really fast today. <laughs> So, today we have some problems with focus. I don't know why. I'm sorry about this, but I don't know. I don't know why it don't want to work. Now I have twins. Ah, I know. Um, and the last, I think that I should uh, make... Uh, the last step, I just take one uh, minute more of your time and just um, add some burnt sienna on the edges of my brush to uh, to make it 
looks more dimensional to emphasize uh, the edges of brush so just just a little bit on the edges we have only one side visible now and i don't know if you see the difference with uh, dark edges or without them but uh, for my eye <laughs> uh, it's more beautiful when the um, project uh, has uh, darkest edges. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you for all your uh, comments. I, I will uh, look them and um, read them later. Uh, thank you, girls. Thank you, Anya. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sharon, for being with me, for helping me. Um, so, um, we'll see you later, I think, maybe next week, on my next live. Thank you, girls, thank you. And goodbye, have a nice uh, day, have a nice evening. <laughs>